Hey you guys, what's up Perfume Mafia? So today I have a video that's a little bit different for me, for moi, because I have been, if you've been with me for a long time, if you've been rocking with me for a long time, I always say that I want to show you guys my soap collection. I am addicted to soap. I am so addicted to soap. I actually had a larger collection to this. This isn't crazy. This isn't crazy. I've dwindled it down. I haven't bought any soap since the quarantine began. So this is the soaps that I'm left with. And I have tons of bar soap. I know you guys are looking at this like, oh my God, I can't believe she used that drying soap. I'm obsessed. But let's get into it. And you guys drop below. What's your favorite soaps? I'll try to tell you guys a little bit about how they smell if I remember uh, as we're going through this. And let's get into it. So the first one, as you see right on top, is going to be Irish Spring Moisture Blast. Moisture Blast. <laughs> Moisture Blast. And this one is it's pretty similar to the OG Irish Spring. So for this one is in a blue and it has like little chips of, I think it's like peppermint or minty something to where it just really moisturizes your, um, your skin supposedly. I think it's still pretty much a uh, very drying uh, deodorant soap, but I really like this one because I feel like whenever you've worked out or you've like been working in the yard, had just like a really tough day, this removes all of the funk so you can start with a clean base. So that's why I really like Irish Spring. And that's why I always have this in my collection. So you're going to see this a few times. The next thing that we have is going to be some zest. I don't know which one this is. I've actually, I really don't like zest soap. Um, the ones that I've tried so far. So I don't know what this is. I guess it will be a surprise when it opens. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say? It doesn't say. And then here's another little zesty girl, a little zesty girl. If you guys know what that is, drop it below. I don't know. And then also, what's your favorite soap? Do you like zest soap? This is one of my favorite soaps of all time. This is Dove Go Fresh Fresh Touch, the Beauty Cream Bar. Love this one in the scent, cucumber and green tea scent. I remember this scent came out when I was a little girl and I was just obsessed with the body wash. I still use the deodorant. Um, too cheap to use the body wash, but I still use the soap all the time. It's my favorite scent of all time. Of course, you know that Dove is super moisturizing. Um, and then also, this just smells very, very nice, light scent. It kind of reminds me of the, what is it, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. That one, that's what it smells like to me. Really love that one. I have two bars. Let me make sure my feet don't get in this camera. Ooh, this is a pamper day for me. So that's why I'm like pulling out everything to see what I have in my collection. That I can use at home because I'm just tired. Do you get to a point where you're just like tired of shopping? You're like, I already have this stuff. Let me use it. This is probably, I think, the most moisturizing soap of all time. I think it's actually more moisturizing than Dove, um, perhaps. But this is Ole Ulta Moisture. And this one has shea butter. And this one's literally like, if you're, it does sud up. It suds up, but it's such a creamy sud. Like, it's so creamy. And it lasts, it actually lasts pretty good for it to have so much um, moisturizing components. Cause usually if it's moisturizing, it like literally, literally melts in the shower, but this one I love so much. And it's actually so moisturizing. Girl, if you're trying to save that coin, you can actually use this on your face as well. You can use it all over. I wouldn't recommend using the Irish spring on your face, even though sometimes I do, you, you know, you know how I rock. I don't have sensitive skin. That's another thing I should point. Here's another moisture blast. I'm actually going to leave this out cause I, I need to use this. I need to use this. Well, let me use this one actually. So we have more Irish Spring. This is actually the OG, the original. Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells so good. This is like the two fur box. I already used one, but yeah, let me throw this to the side because I'm going to use this in the shower right after that. Love you. This is from the collection. I actually am not even participating in the Bath and Body Works um, sale, semi-annual sale this summer because I already have so much from last season that I just have not been able to get through yet. Um, I don't even know if they still sell this one because I know they've expanded their aromatherapy line, but this is Love Rose and Vanilla. Love this one. It's not a really strong scent. It's very faint, but if you're into layering or starting with the base for your fragrances, this one's really nice. I like to use this one when I'm about to go in with like sweeter fragrances. It really adds a nice feminine um, base for me. So I really like to use this before I use like Armani C or Armani C Fiori, or if I use Sophia by Sophia Vergara or La Via Belle, like this works really good and doesn't clash with any of those. So love that. Um, this is some of the like celebrities, the gift set, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my God. Excuse me. 
Okay, so this is one of the soaps from these like gift sets that you purchase that comes with the fragrance, the body lotion, and the body wash. So this is Enduring Glow by Jennifer Lopez. I've never tried this one, um, but I don't know why I never use the fragrance. I never use the body wash and I never use the body lotion. I don't know. I'm just not really drawn to it for some reason, but I've gone through so many J-Lo glows. Like I'm obsessed. This is the Ellen Tracy Bronze Shower Gel. I've already gone through one of these in the past. It smells like straight up coconuts. It smells so freaking amazing. Oh, and then for the Enduring Glow, this one just kind of smells like musky citrus. It smells like musky citrus type scent. Um, it, it smells fine, but I don't know. I just never reach for it. Caress. This is another very moisturizing soap. If you're in... <clears throat> Sorry. I got a frog in my throat or something. What's happening? Okay, so this is Caress. This is Daily Silk for noticeably silky soft skin, the white peach and orange blossom. Anybody, if you have grandparents, your granny always used to have this. This is something, I don't know, grandmas always have this, but it's really good. I like this scent. It does smell, something about it just reminds me of like more mature, I think because grandmas always have it. I don't know, their marketing was hard for women over 50 or something like that, but I use it all the time. It's really good, moisturizing. And I actually secretly love the scent. So, yes. Do they have this? I'm pretty sure they have this in body wash, too. I need to pick that up because I, I love the soap. I go through this all the time. Oh, and then most of these soaps you can actually pick up for Dollar Tree. That's where usually where I pick them up. Or Big Lots or Walmart is usually where I buy my soaps. I think. Yeah, my bar soaps. Um, even though I think at Walmart you get a better deal because they only sell like one at a time. But I just pick them up one at a time. When I buy them for Dollar Tree. And I probably did that with these. So it's just the OG Dove. Everyone smelled this. Beauty Bar. Beauty Bar. I mean, what can I say? You got to keep this on deck. If someone comes to visit you, if they have sensitive skin, you know that one to be fine for them. It's not the unscented because I love the scent of Dove. Um, but yeah, here's another one. I actually need to use some of those up. Um, and then actually my favorite of all time. See, you see how they play you though? Look how they play you. Okay, so this is the Dove Pink Rosa. I love this one too. This just smells like, what, what? Dang, what does it smell? Like a light rose scent. Like it smells like a light soapy rose. What fragrance does it smell like? Kind of like Chloe to me. Kind of smells like Chloe to me, but this is my favorite one. But this is a huge bar. I think this is like a four ounce bar or something like that. Does it say on here? Yeah, 4.75 ounces for $1. Meanwhile, Pete, this is $1 and this is... 3.1 3.17 ounces so this is a better deal you can see the comparison i mean this bar is huge the pink one it literally doesn't even fit in my soap dish like it's huge so i usually like to go with the pink one and it smells better and it has a longer lasting scent too and what is this dial Ooh. I think this is the gold bar, which is really good, actually, if you can't find any antibacterial soap still because of what's going on in the world, then you can just get some Dow Gold Soap because, as you know, doctors have been using that forever, and it is, um, it removes all of the, like, germs and all that. More Dow Soap, more Dow Soap. Very drying, very drying. Not the best scent, but, again, it has that um, antibacterial aging. How much y'all want to bet this is about to fall? down down baby okay the next one that we have is going to be ivory this is another old school classic i had a friend that actually turned me on to using this it's cool kind of smells like centrella centrella candles what's the candles that keep the bugs away keep the mosquitoes away when you're sitting outside that's literally what this smells like to me i heard you can use ivory soap in your wash um maybe i'll use that maybe i'll try that today why not hey first time for everything um i use it on something that has some clothes i don't mind <laughs> ruining uh, but the next one that we have is going to be from ulta this is one of my favorite body washes they're all swing um their body washes are it says moisturizing they're not bad they're not drying they're not overly moisturizing not like creamy but not bad for like everyday body wash this is simply clean it smells like super zesty dude it smells so zesty and fresh and clean it kind of reminds me of uh, Dolce and Gabbana light blue if light blue was um, a body wash yes that's what it smells like I love this one it smells so good it just wakes you up when you get in the shower more dove pink soap more dove pink soap um, we have some 
Ole Foaming Body Wash. This is the whip one. I've never used this. It says 30, as I say, 30 wishes, 30 uses. Um, I can imagine it's going to be good from Ole. But this is the birch water and lavender one. Again, I've never used this. It says direction, shake, flip it, dispense it, smooth, rinse. Oh, okay. So bathe with it. <laughs> oh, girl. We did not need instructions. But okay, the next one that we have is going to be another ivory soap. Okay, so I have another one, so I'm not just wasting it, just in case I get an urge for some ivory soap every once in a while. Okay, another body wash that we have. I want, I want to say I feel like I've used this before. This is actually a brand that hails from Amsterdam, from the Netherlands, and that's where I first experienced them, but I'm happy to see they're in the USA now because they are amazing, darling. And they actually, you can find them at TJ Maxx and stuff now, which I was like, okay, dope. Oh, and they're in Ulta if you want to use your points. But this is Ritual's Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. And this is like so moisturizing. This is a foaming. I'm telling you, your skin is going to be so soft when you use this. And like, it's, it's so moisturizing. It smells so good. The whole bathroom is going to smell good. It's like sweet, like a sweet praline type. It kind of reminds me of the Valentino Donna, which one? Which one? Aqua. Aqua. The pink one that I always rave about, that's what it smells like to me. It smells bomb. Okay, I have an obsession for the aromatherapy, as you can see. Um, I've dwindled down my collection. I'm trying to use them all before I ever step foot out this house to buy some more. But this is from the aromatherapy. aromatherapy. This is the stress relief. I love the candle. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I just love the entire line. This is my favorite scent from them. The eucalyptus and spearmint. It's just so invigorating and just calming. It's like it wakes you up and then puts you to sleep at the same time. I don't know what it is about this one, but I love this one so much. And I'm only down to one, two, three, four. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So I'll, I'll allow myself to use one. Because I'm really not trying to shop. Okay, five. Okay. And you know what? I need some stress relief too. So, you know what? We're going to put one of those in the shower after I show you what. Actually, do you guys want a video of me showing you what's actually in my shower right now? Like what I'm using? Okay, the next one we're going to have is from Tree Hut. This is Shea Moisture Moisturizing Body Wash and Coconut Lime. This, I've used this for a little bit. I don't know why I stopped using this. I think I kind of got tired of the scent. I get tired of citrus scents, like, I don't know. And this is like a fresh and clean one because this one literally smells like a margarita, but it is moisturizing. Um, I think it's pretty strong. Maybe that's what it was. And it was like clashing with my perfumes. And as you know, perfume comes first. So there's that. Okay, the next one that we have is like an OG. This is old school. This comes from like when they used to sell CO Bigelow um at bath and body works i don't think they sell that anymore so this is old but, but yeah so this one is really old actually i think i'll use this one this is perfect for summer too it's very unisex i don't even know why i'm selling it because they don't sell it anymore yeah mono for every day says sparkly happy citrus fusion capri lime lemongrass i'm not a huge lemongrass girl but i need to use this up this is gifted to me Okay, the next one that we have is one of my favorite. Another great rose scent. This is from the Body Shop, but sold at Ulta. This is the British Rose one. Very moisturizing. I've already run through so many bottles of this. It smells so freaking good. It smells like Jo Malone Red Roses. Like, I love this scent. This smells really, really good. Like, I love it. If I can find more, or I don't know if they still sell. I haven't been to the store, but if they have more, then I want it. Okay, the next one that we have is the other favorite fresh scent that they have at Ulta Beauty for their body washes. This is Fresh Water Mist. This one smells just like Simply Clean, except for remove the zesty elements and add it more like ocean type scents. It kind of smells like if the Dove Cucumber one was in, um, in a body wash. Like that's what it kind of smells like. Very aquatic. Um, very fresh, like quintessential, just jumped out of the shower. Almost like a men's cologne, but not as strong. I like that one a lot. And then we have Signorina. I'm saving this one for like a special occasion because this is like my favorite, one of my favorite body washes of all time. I just have a little one. I need to look for the big one. Signorina Mysteriosa. This is the complimentary shower gel to go with the um, perfume and I have the body lotion. 
but this smells so good like you can smell it on your skin when you get out the shower like it literally stays with you all day you only need a little bit um but i say with special occasions because i love it so much and then we have the sweet like candy by ariana grande this is the bath and body works gel bath and body works gel <laughs> the bath and shower gel uh, but this scent is not super strong so i wish she would have brought more like give me more candy girl you said candy so turn up the sweet but the rest of these oh wait let me do this one first this is another one from the aromatherapy line from bath and body works this one's sleep lavender and cedarwood i don't really like this one much um just i don't know this i don't like the woody element but it's cool i'll take eucalyptus and spearmint any day Okay, I also have this little set from um, Dr. Teal's to where it just has this little pain relief eucalyptus experiment. As you see, I'm obsessed. And then it has this uh, soaking solution that you can use with it for you need to soak your feet when you've been running the streets all day. And this one is a complimentary body wash from uh, Moschino Cheap and Chic. I love love. As you know, this fragrance is usually under 10 under ten dollars definitely you can find it under ten dollars definitely under twenty dollars and it's a dupe for the dolce and cabana light blue so love that one this one comes from this one actually came from thailand i don't know why i brought this back with me but maybe just for memories sparkling sweet this isn't literally in thai it's a brightening body wash all the stuff over there had like some type of brightening bleaching component because they have um i don't know they have a colorism issue or something like that but it did smell good so i brought it back for that reason and just also if i take another trip it's nice to have those small bottles i think this is below the amount that you can take yeah just to have those small bottles these three i got because they were like literally 75 cents <laughs> i hate this scent this is from ulta the um, luxurious cleansing body wash eucalyptus and sage i hate this scent so much and actually a hack is what i do is when i hate a body wash then i um would just pour it into my soap dispenser and just use it as a hand soap so there's that and that's probably what i'll be doing this because i don't mind that as a hand soap also this one to the sea mist and white flower yeah it was all right it was just like a really faint fresh scent and then the same with the coconut and almond milk it was just okay i like the creamy one better but yeah there's that so let me empty these back in there and then i'll show you what's in this bag over there and let's see okay so these are actually in my shower right now um I don't like her. Does anyone have this body wash, Orange Agasm by Soap and Glory? I don't know if this is like, they said that it has M Suds technology, which I'm pretty sure that means no suds. Um, and I'm like, girl, give me back my suds. I need to know that I'm cleansing myself. I don't think it has any type of like soap components to make it like sud up and make it soapy. So I hate that. I'm like, girl, why are you here? And then we have champagne toast. I was like saving this for the longest because I didn't think they were gonna make this a part of their like regular collection, but they did. So I can finally use this one up. This is from Bath and Body Works, my favorite scent. It smells very sparkly. It literally does smell like champagne. Like it smells like champagne toast. It smells like if you had like fruit and champagne and some sweet treats, that's what it smells like. It smells really good. But I've seen that it's a part of the um spring collection which i'm happy about cocoa and shea cucumber this is uh as it says a foaming scrub so it starts off a very nice and exfoliating not the hardest scrub of all time which i like a very rough aggressive scrub but this one smells similar to the dove um go fresh cucumber wash or body wash um yeah it it turns into a soap after so it's a two-on-one but i probably wouldn't rebuy this i like a very rough scrub they have some other scrubs from them that i really like this one is the 360 coral i've been using this one from perry ellis this is the shower gel it smells like a musky peach scent it actually kind of smells like that caress like it, it smells like that caress and we have the gillette venus this is actually for shaving but you can use this body wash too Moisturize, moisturizing shower and shave and vanilla cream. I love to pair this when I'm about to wear something super sweet or something coconutty. It smells really good. And then we have the complimentary body wash that goes with DKNY Nectar Love. Love this one. It just literally smells like honey. Like 
it smells so good. Um, and then also in here, we have the Signorina Mysteriosa bath and shower gel. This is the one that I've been using. Um, and then that's my backup down there. And then we have the JLo Glow and the shower gel as well. I've been using this one. This is my one of my favorite scents. So fresh, so clean. It smells legitimately just like the perfume. Because sometimes the body washes don't smell straight up like the perfume. Which I'm just like, girl, why? Why? Why you do this to me? Okay, we also have some more Dove white soap. I don't know why I have so many. I need to do something about that. This soap I got from Thailand. I kind of want to use it up a little bit because I feel like soap goes bad. I don't know what this is. I just bought this. What does it smell like? It smells like really strong florals. Like I feel like their soap smells like really, really strong florals. I don't know why. Yeah. This is my favorite soap. Is there anywhere in the USA that I can buy this soap? Someone please tell me. I've just been hanging on to the box. Like, it's so sad. But I love the Dettol. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this, like, lemony, zesty one. Oh, my God. It smells so good. It smells like 7-Up. It smells so good. Please let me know if you know where I can buy the Dettol, um, this one, the lemon, zesty one. And then we have this one. This one literally smells like a baby pamper. <laughs> it smells like a baby's pamper, but it doesn't smell bad. And the smell doesn't linger, but it just smells so fresh and powdery. Love it! More Thai soap. More Thai soap. More Thai soap. So this is what? Citra. This is like, I used to swear by this one. It smells like a, like a berry smoothie, legitimately. Like... It smells so freaking good. And they're so, for so, they're so, I don't know why it's like not super moisturizing, but not super drying at the same time. Like, I feel like this is very cheap soap, but for some reason, it just didn't like strip my skin for some reason. I don't know, but you know, I have tough skin. Hmm. Love that one. This is another one of my favorite. This rice soap. Oh, girl, where can I find some rice soap? Rice, mi rice milk, herbal soap, ingoin love literally love this stuff it smells so good it smells so good and this is a huge bar so like this lasts forever but it's like it turns milky it turns so milky when it hits the water i use this on my face like i just love the soap the next one that we have is going to be from lux this is the soft rose soap this actually kind of reminds me of the Dove Pink Rosa soap, but not as strong. But I love this scent too. They have like the best scents. This is actually the same one that made that body wash that I showed you guys. And then the last one is going to be another one like the yellow one that I showed you earlier. And it's just another like really floral scent. Yeah, very floral. Smells really good and just brings back so many memories of Thailand. So, yes! But that's my soap collection. Let me guy let me know what's in your collection. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Peace.